So this question from Marion in Palmerston North. Why do we always worry about tsunamis when they only cause really small waves in New Zealand? This is a really good question. Um, so first of all, tsunamis come in a range of sizes from centimetres to many metres. And like a lot of hazards, we see the small events much more frequently than we see the very large events. Um, but you're right, in most of our lifetimes, we've only seen quite small waves from tsunamis in New Zealand, but our historical record and our geological record tell us that New Zealand is um, exposed and vulnerable to much larger tsunamis, and they could happen again in the future. So in our written period of history, we've had about 50 tsunamis that have impacted the shores of Aotearoa. Um, most of them have been quite small, but one interesting one is the 1947 earthquake up near Gisborne. This was a magnitude 7.2 earthquake. It triggered a tsunami that was up to 13 metres high in some places along the coastline north and south of Gisborne. At the time, it was a very sparsely populated coastline, so there were no fatalities, but if the same event happened today, it would probably have a much greater impact because the coastline has a lot more development on it. Uh, the geological record is really interesting too. So we can use, um, when, when large tsunamis occur, they pick up marine sediment like rock and sand and shells and deposit it inland. We can use these sediments to date the timing and size of past earthquakes. And these sediments are present at many places around the New Zealand coastline. Um, and they tell us that in the past we've had tsunamis that have been many metres high and have gone hundreds of metres to kilometres inland. All right, I hope that helps answer your question, Marion.